Hello Yay. and welcome to Tickly Mouth. My name is Sophie Ross and this is Amy. and this is Sophia. This episode we are going to make an Italian classic. It's the ciabatta. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. <laughs> An essential ingredient of ciabatta is olive oil and I've been recommended by a friend to try Nudo's Can I do it? Yeah! Nudo's olive oil for kids Apparently it's buttery and low acidity and it makes kids feel empowered to do their own cooking If you fancy going and checking them out they're at www.nudoadopt.com Cool, so let's get on with it shall we? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> When you're making ciabatta, you probably want to use an electric stand mixer if you have one because it's quite a wet dough, it will stick to your fingers also you want it to be as airy as possible and you don't want to bash the air out of it So first of all, 250 grams of strong white bread flour We have cheese now Do you want cheese? Yeah In! Good stuff! And then we want 5 grams of instant yeast Five grams of salt, please. Oh, good. Perfect. Now we need 20 grams of our lovely olive oil. Oh, it's got a nice pouring action. <laughs> Pour that in there. And then we want 200 millilitres of tepid water. Yes. If you want to get tepid water, you can do mostly tap water and then fill it up with a little bit from your kettle and it will give you a nice hand hot temperature. So then pour half of your water into your flour yeast salt mixture. Bit more, bit more, bit more, bit more, bit more, bit more. Stop! So that's going to incorporate nicely. There's a tiger in the kitchen! <laughs> Gradually incorporate the rest of the water, slowly, 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 until it all binds together in quite a wet dough. Once you've incorporated all your water, then just let the dough hook mix it all round and round and round and round for about five to seven minutes and it will form a nice, smooth, sticky dough. Stop! Your dough should be really lovely and... Springy, does that look quite springy to you? Yeah. Look quite stretchy. Now grab yourself a big litre Tupperware, like this one. Drizzle some olive oil. <gasps> yeah, that's lovely. I'm just gonna use my fingers just to kind of coat the tub. Can you put the lid on? Yes, you may. And then, mm, stick your lovely dough into this Tupperware. Gently does it. And then grab yourself a nice clean tea towel and stick it over your dough. And then you can leave that to prove for between one and two hours in a nice warm room of your house until it's doubled or even trebled in size. Okay. Once your one to two hours is up, <gasps> ba -ba -ba -ba. it looks so good. It does look good. I think that's over doubled in size, hasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so then you're gonna dust your work surface heavily with some flour, stick your oven on at 220 degrees C. Yeah, okay. Cool, be really careful about it. Can you please put some more flour on top of the dough as well? Yeah. Sprinkle it all over. Or you can always use semolina for this bit, if you have any. Now get yourself a very sharp knife, and you're going to cut it right down the middle. Would you like to do? Just do like one big like. Yeah, I'm That's good. Well done. Stick some baking paper into two baking trays. This dough is really wet, so you can coat your hands with flour. Grab each half really gently and pop it onto your. Can I do it? <laughs> it's really can I wet. Do this? Commit. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. Woohoo! Just gently pat it back into its square shape. Like that. Check out that massive bubble. Ah, oh, a bubble! We need to let them rest like this for 10 minutes in their nice square ciabatta shapes. Then we're going to bake them in the middle shelf of the oven for 25 minutes. I can't wait. We need them. Yahoo! And once your 10 minutes is up, stick them in the oven for 25 minutes. Be 
Bro! Ah! Boom! So what you want is a lovely presentation board and you stick them on like that and then I'm going to do some balsamic vinegar and our extra virgin olive oil and we're going to do some dipping because that's a really yummy combination. Of course you can. However you want to serve up your ciabatta but I like to cut it into little slices like this and then you can kind of dip it or you can put salsa on top of it and have it like a bruschetta. Yeah, just dip in the olive oil, yeah. How does it taste? Yeah? Did we do a good job? High five. Boom! High five, Evie! Boom! So, it's as simple as that. A really yummy home-baked ciabatta. Don't forget to check out our friends at Nudo. They are www.nudoadopt.com where you can see loads of awesome recipes using olive oil, how to adopt an olive tree, and all sorts of awesome stuff like that. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to Tickly Mouth and like this video if you loved what you saw, and share with all your friends, and we'll see you next time on Tickly Mouth. Bye! Bye! Bye. <laughs>